Well, hello and welcome to the Move Early, Move Often channel. Hi, Thomas. Hey, Mike. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm great. We're going to tell you a little bit about who we are and why we came to do this whole thing and what's going to happen here. So, first of all, my name is Blake Martin. Is that Dr. Blake Martin? It, it is, in fact, Dr. Blake Martin. <laughs> my initial education is in dance and education. I have bachelor's in both of those and a master's in dance, as well as a PhD in kinesiology with a graduate diploma in neuroscience. Kind of a weird path. Um, my work there was on how our brain pays attention to where our body parts are in space. I've taught and practiced traditional Thai massage for over 20 years, and I've taught at the Toronto uh, Yoga Conference and Show since 2007. I'm currently working as a government of scientists, uh, government of Canada scientist, looking at learning and training and uh, how the brain body relationship impacts learning. I'm Thomas Karakolis. Dr. Thomas Karakolis. <laughs> I, I work with Dr. Martin um, for the federal government as well. I, I, I study a bit of different science than Blake. My, my research is focused on uh, human physical performance and injury prevention. Um, my educational background is also completely different than Blake's. Uh, my undergrad and, and master's degree are both in mechanical engineering. And then I realized I was much more interested in the science of human movement, activity, and sport. So I got a PhD in kinesiology with a focus on biomechanics. Uh, during my PhD, I did some work on injury prevention in professional athletes, especially repetitive movements, which you can imagine happen quite often in professional sport. But the, the crux or the main focus of my PhD was looking at um, injuries that are caused by prolonged seated behavior, right. uh, particularly in an office. So um, when the pandemic hit, it, it really uh, was relevant for what I've studied in the past. Exactly. I understand you were also shortlisted as an astronaut for the Canadian Space Agency. <laughs> that, that is correct. Uh, during the most recent uh, call for astronauts in 2017, I applied um, and I did make it quite far in the selection That's process. Crazy. And, it was. It was really crazy. It was a ton of fun and one of the, the best experiences of my life. I tell us a little much. bit more. Uh, tell us a bit more about why uh, we started this whole nonsense. Great. So you actually know a lot of this, but we'll, we'll share it on the channel. So when the pandemic first hit, if you guys all recall in March, the, the messaging was to stay at home, uh, work from home if you can, and, and basically try and limit your, your interactions with people for obviously good reasons to stop the spread of the virus and um, whether or not we've been effective at that, that's a debate for another time. But what what has happened and we've noticed is that people have been staying at home more than they were before the pandemic response. And some people have taken advantage of this and used it to, to do a little bit more physical activity. And there is some research to show that early on the pandemic, people were doing about four to eight minutes more of both moderate and intense physical activity every day. But the more concerning thing that came out of that same research was that on average, people were spending 75 minutes more a day sitting. And so that's obviously something that's very, exactly, it's very concerning. So I, I initially started writing about this. Um, and then Blake, as you know, uh, once I started sharing my ideas, my thoughts, my writing with you, you jumped all over, got on board, and you actually made the magic happen where you were able to turn it into ideas, from ideas into actions, which ultimately became Memo. So maybe you can tell us a little bit more about what Memo actually is. Sure. And we'll We'll discuss this more another time, but the big idea is that we follow a five-day cycle. Momentum Mondays are uh, big, expansive movements that uh, often involve rhythm. Uh, Twisted Tuesdays are to focus on range of motion, uh, flexibility, and stretching. Wobbly Wednesdays are sessions that focus on balance and core stability. Throwdown Thursdays are there to develop uh, progressive overload so that we get better at endurance and strength uh, movements. And functional Fridays are frequently complex or uh, movements that cross many movement planes. Um, and the whole idea is that we want you to do all of the sessions so that your 
um, growing your movement capacity from where you are to continue to be a healthy, uh, strong mover across your entire lifespan. And um, we want you to be able to develop your uh, movement vocabulary as well. Uh, we do most of these sessions from our living rooms or kitchens where we have been doing them for almost eight months where our offices are. And the idea is that you don't need special equipment or uh, a lot of space to grow your movement practice. You just need a little place and a little bit of time. And if you do a bit each day, you can continue to become more and more healthy. Um, we are more interested in becoming a movement community than a YouTube channel. And we encourage you to go ahead and like, like or subscribe if you want, but we would much rather that you invited a friend who you think might benefit from uh, the Move Early, Move Often channel. And we want to encourage healthy discussion, diversity, body positivity, and supportive discourse. So we do these movement sessions every single day at 8.15 in the morning. Um, they'll be posted to YouTube uh, immediately after. Uh, so we encourage you to do them early in the morning with us so you move early. But if you can't do them in the morning, they'll be there all day um, and going forward uh, continuously. So you can do them at any point in the day so you're moving often. But in addition to the daily movement sessions, we're also going to try and upload some additional content to the channel where Blake and I kind of discuss some of the issues surrounding um, movement, physical health, mental health, and um, how you can encourage yourself to move every single day and just be more physically active. So we'll see you every morning. That's it. That's the channel. We we'll look forward to seeing you next time you come around.